Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. On this week's show, we're going to Clarks Hill, South Carolina. We're going to be on the boat with Randall Burkhart and Alan Greer of the Triad Bait Company in Lexington, North Carolina. Going to do a little striper fishing down here in Clarks Hill and I guarantee it's going to be an exciting day. So stick around. Don't go away. We'll be right back. This week's Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV is brought to you in part by Camelback Hydration Systems. Do you have a camel on your back? And by Bole Sportswear and Sunglasses. Also by Buckbuster Scents. Scents for the serious hunter. And by Carolina Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Supply. Hunting and fishing products at an affordable price. And also by the fine folks at the Triad Bait Company in Lexington, North Carolina. Buster Sense has been the chosen deer tracking and cover sense for both guides and professional hunters for years. Try our pine cover scent, acorn cover scent, wild apple, and new this year, sweet corn. And if you need a doe or bucket tracking made from our 100% natural formula, then try our doe estrus or buck urine, stone mountain passion to get that leery buck curious or stone mountain buckbuster to make that mock scrape. So, if you're looking for a good hunting scent at an affordable price, check us out on eBay at Carolina Outdoor Store or on our websites at The Great Outdoors and Beyond or CarolinaOutdoorStore.com. Buckbuster Scents, scents for the serious hunter. Hey folks, want to keep up with the Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV team? It's an easy thing to do. Just like us on Facebook at Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. And you'll be able to keep up with the behind the scenes clips, bloopers, news and videos, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Like us today. At Carolina Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Supply, we custom build game calls and tackle the old fashioned way from the ground up one at a time. There's no mass produced game calls or fishing tackle here, meaning you'll be always sure to get a good quality product at an affordable price. Carolina Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Supply, check us out on the web at thegreatoutdoorsandbeyond.com, on eBay at Carolina Outdoor Store, or Facebook at Carolina Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Supply. Hill. We've been waiting pretty much all morning to get here. Randall and Alan, they're getting the, the boat in the lake. 
and it's kind of a misty, drizzly day right now, which is going to be really good for catching stripers. So stick around, don't go away. We're going to get right back to you. We're going to get the boat launched and head on our way out there and catch us some of these Clark Hill stripers. You know, they might not be feeding right now. No, but you know, another hour and a half, two hours. The main thing is you got to find them first. Well, then you got to keep pulling through them until you get them started. When you get them started, you get them, you get them on a they'll go. Frenzy. And once they start hitting, it's just like a bunch of sharks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right on this California. Well, they're, they're actually up here. Here's 40, there's zero, so about 20. Our lure should be bumping them in the heads. Yeah. Them lead core shards ought to be being pulled right through the middle of some of them. Well, they should be 15, 16, 18, 15. Get more them. Got it. I mean, they just went, they just went crazy. That's spaghetti there, ain't it? Look, yeah. Look, 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 look. They're all over. They're all over. Look. Got it. Look. 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 How far are you coming up? I'm going to come up about 10 foot. They're up on the top of Right here. They're about to be something on the pieces right here. Them planter oh, boards ought to go right off. Them planter boards ought to go off something awful. Yep. You got one? There was one on there. You hit it, it was in my darn hand. Well, you might as well bring it in. I'm going to throw it off. Just do it he, slow he, because he, he, he may, you it. may, he, you may get another one yet. He tripped it just as, just as I was getting ready to crank it up. Can you turn us around, bit, Randall? Just back down there. It, well, it's no. marked, Randall. Yeah, I know. I got it. It ain't over with that one. They ain't all come to it yet. No, this we're probably there's probably still more fish down there. Yeah. Hey, we got fish on. We got a fish on. All right, Captain. You, you have one on there? Yep. yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, starting the morning Almost off right, black. huh? Almost to the black. Starting the morning off right. Ain't too much baggage. No. No, he ain't a real big one. Fish. want to get a still shot of some of these two guys. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, Strike for a hybrid. Looks like a hybrid. Whenever you uh, bring it on up in here. Well, I was going to, but you get dripping warm back. Yeah. Well, I'm used to doing it by myself. Mm. What do you mean? Yeah, that, that's the one that slayed them last time. Look how more the hair is. More than one rod would have went off. What? Yep. 
Same thing as mine. Well, looks like we might have another hybrid on here, folks. We spotted that school of fish back here about 45 minutes ago. Every time we drive over, we kind of get a hit. But uh, anyways, there's another good one. One hit it down. Have a hit. One hit it down there. You got one down there to deep another. This one's on 16. This right. one's on 12. This one's 16 one just had a hit. Alright? Yeah. Well, they need That's a little ball of them, ain't it? That sure is. And them are, are definitely striped. They ain't. Did you get that? That might be Somebody want to film me reeling this fish in? I got you covered. Small one. I hear you. It don't matter. Does it swim in the water? Real small one, but. Uh, you might have it. Come on, come on. One fast, one fast. Okay. There you go. Right yep. All right. This is a hybrid. Yep. Sure is. Maybe that's what we've been seeing, Randall, hybrids. Might be. Yeah. All three hooks in it then. That's what we like. We won't lose them that way. Well, we gotta get him de hooked. That's not a striper, folks. That's what they call a hybrid. Ouchie. And they're a little and he's bit got his back too. They're a little bit wider fish. They're a little bit wider and just a little bit more chunkier. And I can't really show you here, but as you can also tell by the dots. What is it? Hybrids have two dots? Well, and their tongue. On the tongue. But they're wider apart than they're the They're wider stuff. apart. But the main thing is the it's the broken lines on the on the hybrids. On the it's clouded back up little bit looks like it's gonna rain on us again folks trying to put a few more fish in the boat here before we end the day out today and um, we'll just see what happens clouds back up fish get a little more active this being a clear water lake what ends up happening when the Sun comes out it drives them deeper so we got to fish deeper for them now with the Sun gone in they're gonna come back up and we're starting to see the fish come up a little bit shallower so Maybe we'll get on some more fish here pretty quick. Bigfoot baits are a high quality plastic bait chosen by both professional and amateur anglers when they need a bait that will stand up to all kinds of conditions and abuse. Bigfoot baits come in a variety of different shapes and sizes and they are available for the fresh and saltwater anglers. Bigfoot soft plastic baits should be your chosen bait to squash your competition. So, you think you have what it takes to be an outdoor producer? Well then, Outdoor Adventure Productions has teamed up with the Outdoor Sportsman's Channel and you could be just what we're looking for. I know, you're probably thinking, it's too expensive to have my own outdoor show. Not anymore. For a fraction of the cost of regular programming, it is possible for you to get started with your own outdoor TV show. But hurry, because slots are filling up fast. So, if your passion is anything to do with the outdoors, don't wait. Call now at 828-919-6934 or drop us an email at the Outdoor Sportsman's Channel at gmail.com and you could be the next great outdoor producer.
this place. Do you know how long it is before I kill these? This segment of Carolina Outdoor Magazine is brought to you in part by Bigfoot Bait. Squash your competition. Buckbuster Sense. Sense for the serious hunter. And also by Quail Hollow Bird Farm. Game birds and bird dog training. I'm going to show you one of the rigs that we're using here, folks. We're changing the bait over. We had problems with the spinner. But if you notice, a lot of the baits that we're using out here, a lot of the rigs that we're using, these guys use multiple rigs per pole. And the reason for that is what that does is it puts you, you're introducing in front of the fish different types of bait. Like we've got a, a leader here that's about four and a half foot long, and we've got on one end we've got that leader with the jig head. And over here, Alan, he's got this one with the white bucktail and the green chartreuse uh, lead head, but we've got a spinner on it. And you come up your line a little bit, and then we've got a three-way swivel. And all this is really doing is that we're putting multiple baits in front of the fish and that's that's making it so that if he may not want this bait right here but that fish might come down and take a look at that bait and he might grab it. And then Alan's gonna go ahead and he's gonna tip it with a little, little just to give it a little more action. All right. And when we drop them in the water, they're going to be a spread about two, two and a half, three foot between these two. Between and these two. Lord, because on, this one, on this one's heavier, so it's going to hang down, and this one's going to be suspended up above this one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're covering different different columns in the water. You, you know, you're giving yourself like a three or four foot area that you're covering there with two different baits on one rod. That would be more than one rod go off. Let me show you. If you can pick this one up, I'll go right around this one here too. I'll come right up on the back of the boat. Here you go. Alright. Should be under this line right here. Right. Going to a good one here, folks. He's underneath that one. There you go. Feels like a good one. That was on the downrigger? Yeah, yeah you own that big yeah, spinnerbait umbrella. Umbrella rig. You could have two on. Who you versus that? You still under it? Um, I'm coming right up underneath it, yeah. You're right on that one. You clear, you clear sailing to the boat now. Trying to trying to get it untangled. <laughs> All right, there it is. We had a problem. Well, that was an easy unhook. We had a problem there for a little bit and had some technical issues. We had to straighten out. Real quick, Alan, what are we fishing with here? We got spider. We got uh, spinner baits. Well, okay. Along with a lead head near the bottom. Okay, and that's on an umbrella rig. Umbrella you guys rig. make all this stuff. Yes, sir. And you can see he's got that umbrella rig they make, and they've got all them spinner baits on there. And you say he hit that middle one right there? That's what you said. That's what you were saying. Uh, I don't know where, I don't know where, he where was, was he at? I think no, he, he had to be on a spinner bait. He was on a spinner bait. Was he on a spinner bait? Okay. He, he, he was okay. on. He was on that green. Okay. That right there. And for a trailer, that's what we've got for a trailer right there. And there's the result right there. That's a striper versus the other one with yep. the hybrid. Yeah, see, he doesn't have the broken lines. Nice fish. All right. I need to get this back out on the downrigger and try to do it again. Maybe it's going to pick up a little bit.
we come across an area we marked a lot of fish on the depth finder and all of a sudden they started busting the water. Well we went over here to our GPS and marked where these fish are. And Randall just keeps working this area, keeps working over these fish. And if you look on the depth finder here, you'll see the waypoints we have. What that is, is that's the areas where we've seen schools of fish. Now earlier, earlier today when we had all the fog and the rain, the fish were suspended a little bit more off the bottom. They were, oh, somewhere around 30 foot area somewhere, and some of them were even shallower than that. But now what's happened is the sun's come out, and this is really a clear water lake, so it's drove the fish down deeper. So Alan and Randall are resetting the rigs. They're putting them down a little deeper, and so hopefully we're going to uh, key in on where these fish are at and where they're holding, and hopefully before we're done here today, we'll catch a few more fish. I'll catch a few more fish. I don't know what these guys, I guess these guys are just guiding for us, but that's okay. Uh, Oh, oh, and excuse me. Let's not forget the camera lady, okay? She's the one who's been spotting them, telling us when we had all the fish. Fish on. Fish on that one? No, that's the planer boy. Planer boy. <laughs> yeah, they're all wrapped up. Well, you were, you were cranking that in, all of a sudden this thing jerked. All of them up. Working. Is it okay if I bring this fish in the boat? Yeah, bring it here. Look at that! Ha -ha. That's a good sign, y'all. Was that a fish in Did the you middle? think I, I told you I had a fish? I seen it go down. You didn't, but... you didn't take me serious. Look at that fish. What's that yeah, bump on the I back? That thing was always been hit. Yeah. All right, well, there's another one, folks. So we're we're slowly reeling them in. And we're slowly catching them. Go grow up. You know, just like I was saying earlier, folks, about the different uh, putting on different baits. Here's an umbrella rig, for example. And if you look, we've got uh, we got one, two, we got four arms on this, and every arm has a different bait and a different color. And it's the same thing, you know, that we've got hard bodies, soft bodies. And what this does is it presents different baits to the fish. They got a multiple choice here. Whatever they want to hit, we're going to get it to them. So now what Randall wants to do is he wants to put on a little more trailer on here. So I guess that's what we're doing. Um, we're going to put a like a flip tail grub on there for a trailer is what we're going to be doing. And that just... And that just really enhances the bait a little bit better. Stay. Okay, okay, Randall. Oh, somebody okay. put one on there. Oh, we're, yeah, we're, we're on the ball back here. All right, okay. drop that baby in there. Oh, well, you can tell when, all, when both of them get on that side of the boat. That's <laughs> Folks, we're having a real good time out here today on Clark's Hill Lake. We've uh, got Randall up there and he's uh, operating the boat and being the guide and putting us on the fish and me and Alan have been reeling them in. I want to take just a few minutes, um, talk to Alan a little bit about these baits. These are real nice bait, folks. You've, you've seen us using them and we've showed them to you before. They've got a vinyl coating. It's real durable and you can literally throw these things against rocks, uh, drop them on the pavement and they don't shatter, they don't crack. No, each one of these heads has got has got like uh, vinyl paint. Vinyl paint is soft paint. It ain't going it ain't going to bust up and chip like that hard paint you put on a lot of lures. It actually give with the lead as the lead dents. It actually give with the lead. Lead making it so it won't crack right, and break right, and right. splinter. Right, right, right. It's soft paint. Okay. And these, rubber paint. These are available all what sizes? From three eighths, from, five eighths? From to, from quarter on from a quarter on up to two and a half ounces. Okay. Four ounces. We can we can go up to four ounces on them. Uh striper baits. Striper baits. Mm -hmm. Uh what else do you make? We make striper bait, we make crappy jigs, we make a lot of crappy jigs, the wobblehead okay. crappy jigs. Okay. Uh all squirrel right. tail, we make some squirrel tail crappy jigs. Alright. Uh Tell us you have a you have a website. 
No, we don't have a website. You have a Facebook page, yeah. which is Triad Bait Company, uh, Facebook backslash Triad Bait right, Company. Right. So make sure you go to the Facebook page. You'll find a lot of their, their products on there, and as they make them, um, they, they put them on there, and you'll be able to see them. They're real good bait. How does somebody, if they want to get in touch with you to order your bait, call the number? The, the number's on Facebook. Okay. And then call, so they, they call and place an order. Okay. All right. And we also we also started designing inline spinners on these some of these uh, banana heads, and we're also putting them on the, uh, the lead heads also. And these are really good because what they do um, is they put a little more flash in the water, and it just does attract the fish a little bit better. We've had a couple of hits, uh, quite a few hits, as a matter of fact, on these today. So uh, it, it does make a difference. Fine. And one of them, you ain't going to believe this shit. All right, way to go, Randall. He hit that, right? Coming over that, I get him. He hit that, that large mouth hit that coming over that rock point right there. And uh, we had, we're we coming into this, we're trying something totally different. We kind of think maybe the fish are up shallow a little bit. So we came in, we're coming into this area right here where it's just, just a cove. So, and look what we got. But um, very good. Here, I got that. We got to tie that back on. He broke the line off, huh? Uh, All right, folks, the weather's going to turn bad on us again. We fishing about all the bad weather here this weekend we want to fish in and um, we've had a really good time out here fishing with these guys if you want one of them to take you out on a guide trip crappy fishing or striper fishing give them a call go to the Facebook page they'll find out how to get in touch with them right there Alan appreciate you having us Sir, down thank you for coming uh, this gentleman here is from Triad uh, bait and tackle company and they are in Lexington, North Carolina, and they have a really good product. Uh, we've caught, it we was hard fishing this weekend. Randall tried the best he could to put us on whatever fish we saw, and we were seeing fish constantly in bait all weekend long. The conditions couldn't have been any worse. The Northeastern, I think, really. We worked really hard for what fish we had to make this show. But we did catch fish, and that's what a good guide's all about, and that's what, good, that's what using a good product's all about. So give them a call, and get in touch with them, and you know, get some of the, uh, the, the, the bait that they have from the Triad Bait Cap Company. Give them a call, and jump on the boat with them. Thanks a lot, folks, for watching today's show. It was a pleasure bringing it to you. We're going to get out of here, and head on back, jump in the car, and we got about a three-hour ride home. These guys are going to fish tomorrow, but we ain't going to be with them. So. Folks, it was a pleasure. We'll catch you somewhere next week in the great outdoors when we do it all again. Thanks for tuning in.